Hello everyone, my name is Mini Kelsis and welcome to 60 Seconds. So this is a game I've been keeping my eye on for a while, which I've actually been wanting to play, but here we are now. So this, I've went through the tutorial so that I wouldn't have to go with it with you guys, so I've got the gist and what the game wants me to do. So let's continue. Well, not continue, let's play. Um, I'm not sure what scavenge is. Survival or apocalypse? What is apocalypse? Full of topic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies, and then survive the post-apocalyptic apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Whew. Okay. Then what is scavenge? Scavenge supplies from house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked by the end. No survival included. Oh, so I have to just scout for the house. Okay. And what is survival? What okay. Uh, survive in the fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. Oh, so that just sticks me right in. Okay, so apocalypse it is then. So let's say explosion time ten seconds. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Explosion time. <clears throat> I'd say we are normal difficulty. Like, yeah, we're normal difficulty. Let's begin our adventure. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Ooh, <clears throat> I am. Um, Worried for my life here. I'm not sure if I'm going to collect stuff properly. So first of all, I got a scout at the house. So board here. Timmy's here. There's a flashlight right there in the back of his room. There are water in here. Guns up there. That over there. Doors. Hello, wifey. Okay. Give me, give me, give me. Come on. What is that? Oh, spray. Where the hell's the shelter thing? Okay. Dolores, come here. Okay, come here. Give me that. My God, Dolores, you are such a. Ooh, you take up so much space. Okay. Uh, give me, give me, give me. Give me. What do you mean? Oh, the bag took up so much space. Okay, let's go inside here. Um, water, water, gun. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, oh my god. We haven't even got any food. Hello, Timmy. Come here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We don't have any food. Where's the food? Shit! Okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We didn't bring any food. We didn't bring any food. Ah, uh, day one. There's one can of soup up there. We got a good amount of stuff. We haven't got... We just got one can of soup. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it down... We can work down here. Remember hearing... Can Canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it up better. One gas mask. Woo! Okay. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside was definitely proved useful. We don't have that much food. No one's complaining yet, but even canned soup might become an extravagant dish quite soon. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Wow. Okay, so from what the tutorial says, we don't need water for four days. But it didn't mention anything about the food. So right now we're all okay and we've only got one can of soup, which is concerning. How much? Okay, so one can of soup can feed a family for a day. Anyway, let's go without supplies. It's difficult to keep our spirits up like this situation. Up in this situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else we might end up in a place much worse than this. Cozy shelter. Got day two. What next? Oh, he's growing a beard. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathet apathetic. Whatever that means. We need to stay calm and wait. Await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Mary Jane, she's says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Timmy's okay. Dolores is fine. Wait, as much as fine as anyone could be in a tiny shelter. Teddy's not complaining. Okay, that's good. Uh, we don't need any shelter. Looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. 
No, we're not going out. We heard something of something about supply drops on the radio. This might be what we need to survive. And some pose to hear something. Wait, and that's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go and find out? Yes. But the problem is, it's still irradiated out there, which is what I'm really worried really, really about. Oh, we're all fine. I think. The airdrop cr crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a f few supplies. That will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans for a minute. Uh, be there. Food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory is that the whole country used to run on tomatoes, and no one suspected a thing. So two water and two food. I'm glad we got the more food. That was the most important thing. Everyone ha has to drink sometimes. Is there any water left? We should drink. Okay, so I think we can go one more day without uh, water. Oh, we got a water jug down there. Should we pack up? Thanks. Our hair is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are big risk for our health right now. Okay. Hear that? No one, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. Not at all. We can't just stare, stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Let's try a radio. Maybe that'll help us figure out what's happening on out there. Okay. He's just still looking for worse for wear. So it's the fourth day. Ah, how fortunate. We took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Mary Jane keeps fainting. They need water. Timmy needs water. Dolores needs water. So it looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Holy crap. Okay. Yeesh, there goes one canvas of soup. There you go. The contamination is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions can result. So it's still strong, but it is decreasing. That's really good. Okay. Uh, leave it for one more day. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's that with a double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Yep, kill it. We're not losing a can of soup. Not over our fucking rat. Holy shit, our gun is a- <gasps> What happened to our gun? What happened to our gun? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we are still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Damn, our gun blew up when we tried to shoot that thing. Major says she's fine. Everyone's fine. Okay, good. Oh my god, our gun. Our only defense. Okay, um, we're all good. Looks like there is still waiting going out to the wasteland right now. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. So, could we buy one more day? It is very difficult to pre prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, there are unforeseen definitions, so that does make a lot of sense. We don't say where we're prepared or what happens. And someone wants cake. Which one of you wants cake? Dolores? <laughs> or at least I'm guessing it's Dolores. Could be Timmy. He's just probably imagining cake right now. Look at his little face. Deep. Okay. Um, living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to f think of today and tomorrow. Mary Jane seems fine. No news. It's good news. Is there anything to report Dolores? We could have written. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, no nothing. Okay. Time for rations. We're still good. Was, our neighborhood is still hardly radioactive. It's a big risk. Oh, so I gotta pace out day by day. Ah. So it's a big risk now. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this happened. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would have seemed perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. What do I want to save? So that I have to save something? Radio. Save the radio. So does that mean I lost two other things? Oh my god! Ah, oh, the gas mask, the torch! Oh, we got three broken things. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of 
radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else will be broken, but we won't know until we've cleaned up the place. Everyone has had something to drink, Mary Jane. Is there any water left? We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Don't worry, uh, everyone's thirsty. So, you know what? Okay, we had that. Our neighborhood is still highly reactive. It's a big risk. Leave it one day. Maybe the risk will go down. It's been a while, but we don't know much what's going on on the surface. Had to take a chance at emergency radio and learn a thing or two. Okay, radio. God, this is difficult. I'm suffering here. We're able to get a weak signal and tap into the government. It's emergency announcement service and guess what? Great news, the fallout outside has mostly gone. Yes! Okay. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. There isn't anything new bothering Mary, blah, blah, blah. Doris, this is where it would have been written. What? I don't understand. Uh, we're fine. Ted, you brave man, you. What is this? After, after all the days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. If it doesn't bother anyone, we notice it now. So why not take a shower? We don't have any soap, but there are other alternatives. How would I wash myself with bug spray? How would I wash myself with? No, wait. You'd wear that to stop smelling, but that would mean one person is not smelling it. And yeah, I'm gonna shoot myself in the head so I don't smell it. <laughs> Let's try bug spray, I guess, to stop the smell. God. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Oh, we're minus one spray, are you serious? We finally had a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we use it and it becomes a bit more presentable, smell-wise anyway. It's always better, but things are always calm. Look at the Jerry, everyone's jelly. Everyone's fine. International supplies. Okay, so we're going to go out. We've been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready to go out. Okay, so Ted, you are going out because you are probably bored. Okay. Day 10. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been thinking about it all day. Get everyone, everyone water. It's not easy to stay calm in the circumstances. Hopefully everything will keep our peace and the act whole. Wait, we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. So everyone's gonna about to kill each other, I think. We'll just wait till Ted comes back, then we'll call it an episode. God. We're trying to find out. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might not even get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Uh, Mary Jane is fine. Timmy's fine. If there's anything in Torsi, can be written. Okay. I'm glad we're surviving without food for so long. I'm really proud of these people. I'll eat whenever I get back. One minute was all fine, the next we were all at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get to grips with our eh, survive, let's sleep on it. Okay. God, all they do is sit there. They do nothing. That would drive me insane. We could barely sleep after that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything, everyone's fine. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Wait. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let some fresh air, radioactive air, wait, some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was not a note on it and the neighbor seemed, hood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Yes. Like someone left it for us, so why not take it? Maybe someone gave us something. Oh, hey, Ted. Oh my God, what happened to Dolores? It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought it would get what we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either the water was irradiated or it was some kind of a biological weapon. It made us feel pretty sick. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Some additional supplies would help. Wait. 
like that. Mary Jane is thirsty and has to drink something. Everyone's thirsty. Ted is hungry. Okay. I don't have a health kit thing. Okay, maybe some food will make her feel better. Holy crap, though. I thought that the calls were coming from. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing. Okay. Uh, Dolores, I'm gonna talk to someone. In fact, we'll go till day 15, see how that goes. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear her gasp of relief from the other side. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town on Hill Valley. We started exchanging information. The hell? The call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope that they get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy is good, well, at least from five minutes ago. And Ted is hungry. Well, we don't have any more cans, do we? No. Well, crap. Yeah, let's prepare an expedition for tomorrow. It's not the best place or time to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about it. Let's see, eh, terrible situation. There's a house still standing. Okay, everything is fine. I think. Day 15, the day we plan on going out. Like, holy crap, these guys must be bored. How is she still keeping her, her, her composure? Like,. How is that blotch of skin? No, wait, that must be hot forehead. I thought her skin was peeling or something. We can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We hear it's the best way to get to Europe. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Despite the dire circumstances, the trouble we're going through, Timmy is very brave. Okay, Ted is hungry. I'm surprised. Well, no, 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 no. No one drinks anything. Timmy, it's your turn to go out. Oh, you can take something? Try a suitcase. Carry more stuff. I swear to God, if you break that, I will break you. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna call a day for here. If you like, if you want to see more of this, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.